guys. Uh, started the smoking process this morning. Uh, got the s smokers fired up and uh, uh, it's reached uh, its uh, 250 degrees temperature. And uh, got the brisket out. It's been sitting out for maybe about 15 minutes trying to bring it down to uh, uh, room temperature. Uh, that way it doesn't get shocked uh, as it goes into the smoker. But anyway, I wanted to show you what this brisket looks like uh, since it's been seasoning overnight. Check this out. Well, here it is. Here's the brisket I've been smoking overnight. It's roughly about, uh, in about 14 and a half pounds uh, worth of brisket. And uh, it's been seasoning overnight and uh, just got salt and pepper. This brisket's not for me. It's actually for a couple of guys that I know. You know, they asked me if I could uh, uh, smoke them uh, some brisket and some ribs. And I'll be throwing the ribs on a little bit later on. But uh, again, you know, this, uh, this brisket here is for Sammy and for Aaron. Okay, you guys stay tuned. Talk to you guys later. As far as wood that I'm going to be using in my master built uh, uh, smoker, I'm going to be using the last little bit of these these apple uh, smoking chips. You know, these are pretty good, uh, pretty good wood. You know, it has a pretty good flavor to uh, to the brisket. Uh, but as you can see, I'm down to the to to it. You know, I put the last little bit inside of it. And in addition to it, I'm going to mix it up with a little bit of, uh, well, not a little bit, the rest of it's going to be uh, Kingsford Hickory. You know, this hickory, if you can smell it when it is burning, oh my goodness, you want to talk about one of the best smelling uh, smokes. You know, hickory adds such a wonderful flavor uh, to, to the smoke, to the wood, I mean to the, to the meat. But uh, besides that, that's what we're doing. Uh, let me show you what the, what the smoker looks like now. There she is, there's my uh, smoker. Uh, got the four racks in there, or actually just three racks right now. Uh, brisket goes in all the way at the top, uh, filled up with some uh, apple cider uh, vinegar, and uh, got this bad boy set to run 250 degrees, so it's heating up to uh, 250. It dropped a little bit when I uh, opened the door. And in addition to that, I'm using two probes. I got one probe uh, over on, the, on one end of it, you know, this is my thermal pro, you know, really like these. And I'm using my wireless uh, transmitting ones as well. These are my, uh, my ready checks. And this is a remote transmitter. So that's the actual temperature of the meat right now. It's at 46 and uh, it'll steady climb as, as it goes up, okay? But besides that, you guys stay tuned to see what this uh, brisket is gonna look like. Just wanted to show you guys the smoke this master built is producing. Uh, it's got a little chute over here on the side, uh, like a little hopper. You pull that hopper out and uh, uh, and load the tray up and, and you know stick it in and spin it, and uh, it drops it on top of the element. But what I wanted to show you was that uh, look at this smoke. I mean, this thing is very very efficient. You start looking at the at the seals of it. There is no smoke coming out of the edges or the door it you know the only smoke coming out is the one that's coming out up here you know and uh, you know I am really happy with this uh, little cabinet type smoker okay just wanted to show you that hey guys uh, brisket has reached an average temperature in between like 153 and 160 it's 153 degrees over on the on the on the point part which is the, the fattier, uh, thicker part of the brisket. And I'm roughly at a, well, not roughly, I'm at 160 uh, over on the flat part, which is the thinner part of it. So we're kind of getting close to that uh, magic number of 165 that we're trying to reach uh, so we can wrap it. But uh, besides that, you know, these are the two probes that I'm using. Uh, I'm gonna put the ribs in it because we're getting close to start the ribs. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. Here are the ribs. I got three slabs of ribs of uh, spare ribs actually that I'm going to be smoking for uh, these same guys, Aaron and uh, and Sammy. Uh, so uh, you can see that the that the meat has taken the paprika in. It's got that nice little reddish color. It got that salt and pepper. We can look at it, and it just looks absolutely delicious. I'm going to put these bad boys in the smoker, and I'll show it to you guys in just a second. All right, there it goes. Look at that brisket there. Uh, I always keep the, the, the food that I'm going to be cooking first up at the top. 
because uh, it'll be done first. And you know, I don't want the raw uh, juices dropping on on the, anything on the food that's already cooked. So I, I always keep the the food that I'm cooking that I'm starting off cooking closer to the top. Uh, but here are the three racks. Got three racks uh, with the, with a set of spare ribs on each one of them, and uh, we're getting close. Once we went, that brisket is getting real close, you know, to get wrapped. But uh, here are my spare ribs, and uh, we're gonna do the three, two, one method for 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 these ribs, which means three hours smoked, two hours wrapped, and then one hour uh, unwrapped uh, to get that glaze on it with the barbecue sauce. But besides that, let me show you the wood we're gonna be using for these ribs. Jack Daniels Old Number no. Seven Whiskey Barrel Smoking Chips, uh, made from 100% Jack Daniels Old Aging Barrels. Uh, when it comes to pork, this is probably some of the best wood to use. Uh, I, I like using this Jack Daniels, especially for picnic shoulders for for pulled pork. But uh, I'm using it for uh, the the spare ribs upon request of my uh, two uh, guys that, that that want it. But uh, this is what we're going to be using. Okay. All right, well the flat portion of the brisket has reached 167 and over on the point we're at 163. So we're, we're in a range between 100, about four, a different four degrees. Uh, so we're right there. We're gonna take this brisket out and we're gonna uh, wrap it, put it back in the smoker and bring it up to 195, uh, maybe even 200, maybe a little bit over 200. The last brisket I did, I took it like, I think it was 207 and it was probably one of the most tender tender briskets I've ever done you know a lot of people complimented me on it but uh, besides that let me get this brisket out show you show you how we wrap it Ooh there's our brisket man it looks good get this guy wrapped up so we can put it back in the smoker And that's all I do. I do two layers of uh, foil on it, going uh, crossways, and uh, it should get up to 195 in the next couple of hours. Okay. But besides that, that's it. We'll put it back in there and uh, finish smoking it. See where we can get it to. There we go. Got the brisket wrapped up got it put inside the smoker changed my settings on my thermostat on my, on my temperature probes to 195 and uh, just a matter of time now huh? okay to get it there you guys stay tuned so you guys see what it looks like all right they go to ribs I'm gonna put a glaze of uh, barbecue sauce on them and uh, go at it from there you know they are looking pretty good bone uh, the meat starting to pull back on the on the bones so we'll get a glaze of this barbecue sauce on here and get these bad boys back in the smoker i mean they are looking they are looking really good so it just takes a couple more hours you know then i'm going to wrap these for 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 the two hour period but i like to put a little rub on it of uh barbecue sauce you know, before uh, actually wrap them up. Oh boy, look at that. Boy, that just looks, man, these guys are gonna have a heck of a feast today, okay? So these ribs are looking really, really good. So can't wait till they're done so I can take it out to them over at their place. So, but, well, there's my second one. Oh boy. Man, these are looking good. And the last one. Mm. Looks like I had just enough barbecue sauce for the three ribs. So I may have to open another bottle later on get some more glaze on it but they are looking good they are looking absolutely delicious just love the color that this paprika does on it okay but uh, besides that 
we're done for right now. We just now it's just a matter of time. Hey guys, got the brisket out. Just wanted to show you how this brisket came out. I mean, it took on a fabulous uh, bark. Take a look at this bark on this uh, on this brisket, and, and look at this. Oh my goodness, this thing is gonna be so delicious. I gotta start slicing it up because part of it goes to somebody, and the other part goes to somebody else. Okay, but besides that, uh, let's cut into it just so we can see uh, how it looks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice little quarter inch uh, slices and the juices are just coming out of it. I mean, it is looking good, okay? Uh, I'm gonna get this all sliced up and uh, we're gonna take some pictures of it and uh, share them with all our friends. But besides that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, we're out. Yeah. Here are the ribs. Uh, just took them out of the smoker. I've been letting them sit here for maybe a few minutes. And uh, I'm going to cut these because I want to see how they actually came out. Oh my goodness, look at that. And how they came out internally. So they, they're they just, I mean, they're cutting right through like butter. You know, these are going to be great. And the bones are just falling right off of these things. So, uh, and uh, if I pull one of these up, oh, look at this. Yeah, you can see how the bone has is just separated from the meat. These are going to be absolutely delicious. And if I uh, take these and flip them over on the other side, you can see uh, how the nice bark uh, has formed on top of it due to the seasoning. And nice, beautiful looking mahogany color right here. I mean, it just looks great. I hope these guys like uh, these ribs because I really put a lot of effort into it okay but besides that uh, hope you guys like my videos give me a thumbs up and uh, I'm gonna finish cutting these and packing them up for for these uh, for these guys that way they can eat their ribs because they're waiting for them talk to you guys later